Yo what's up guys, it is Weird Dude and in this video I'll be bringing you a really cool trick for a secret room. All I can tell you guys is that I absolutely love this trick and I bet you haven't seen it before on any other channels. Ok, let me show it real quick. So we get into the house and as we get in we have a small hall. We also have a bedroom. And the dining room over here. So far it looks like it is only a simple base in a mountain. Ok, give me a second. Now let's look around again. I guess you guys already found out that something is different now. Let's get a closer look to this room again. As you can see where we had a dining room before, now we have a storage room that is so hidden there is no doubt you can hide any of your viable items inside. Now check this. Yeah, that looks absolutely crazy. Ok, I would like to give you guys a few more seconds to look around real quick and try to guess how I'm doing this. I'm really curious if you guys can find it out, if yes then please tell me in the comment section. So let's look around once again. Now I'm going to show you how it works exactly. So we have a secret switch, this item frame right here. If you turn the sword in the item frame, it switches the walls inside the room. It's an extremely simple trick, but as you can see it is also really effective and it is not even hard to build. If you would like to see some more cool secret rooms like this, please don't forget to hit the like button and now guys, let's go ahead and build this awesome base. Now for this build we're going to need a mountain with a spot something like this here. First of all we clear at least a 7 wide and 5 high wall. Now we create a 4 by 7 oak wood frame into the wall. Inside the frame we remove two layers inwards. Now we create an oak wood plank wall with a window at both sides and a doorway at the middle. Now 
In front of the wall, let's replace the ground to dirt or grass blocks. Now we place oak fences a few blocks away from the oak plank wall and put torches onto them. Inside the frame we place oak wood fence gates to the top layer. In front of the entrance we can place some flower pots and flowers. We also create a gravel path. From the other side of the door we clear a 7x7 space. Dig in by 1. 3 to the left. 3 to the right and 6 inwards. Remove the rest of the blocks from the middle. Remove all layer from the ceiling. Replace the walls and the ceiling to oak wood planks. And the floor to spruce wood planks. To the middle of the ceiling we create a 5x3 birch wood slab frame with glowstones and trap doors in the middle. To the corners we create oak wood pillars with spruce wood stairs on the bottom and on the top. To the middle of the left wall we create a doorway. In the doorway replace the ground to a spruce wood plank. Place a spruce door into it and a black carpet in front of it. From the other side of the door we clear a 7x6 space. Now we dig in by 1. 4 to the right. 1 to the left and 6 more inwards. Remove the rest of the blocks from the middle. Remove all layer from the ceiling. Replace the walls and the ceiling to oak wood planks. And the floor to spruce wood planks. Now we decorate the room with glowstone lamps, beds, shelves, a painting, a table with chair, carpets and a few more decorations we would like to have.
In the doorway, replace the ground to an output plank and place a spruce door into it. Let's create a doorway to the middle of the back wall. To the sides we place grass or dirt blocks with wooden trapdoors on the sides and oak leaves on the top. Now from the other side of the door we clear a 6x9 space, dig in by 1, 4 to the left, Four to the right and five more inwards. Remove the rest of the blocks from the middle. Replace the ceiling and the walls to oak wood planks except the back wall. Remove two layers of the ground. In this line, next to the door, we place 4 sticky pistons and place bookshelves onto them. Do the same on the other side of the door. And now we also place 4 sticky pistons with bookshelves into the ceiling over the first two lines. To the outer sides of the bottom pistons, we place resto repeaters facing towards the pistons. After the pistons, place a block to the middle line. Now let's connect the repeaters to the block with rest on dust. To the end of the left reston line, we place a reston torch onto the side of the block. Now we connect the right side of the reston line to the top pistons with reston dust, reston repeaters and the reston torch.
At the top right corner of the room, remove 4 blocks of the wall like this. Place down a rest on dust, a rest on repeater facing out. Then we dig in by 7 more layers. Place rest on dust into this tunnel. Remove a block like this, place a rest on dust onto the bottom block and place down a rest on comparator to the right facing inwards. Break the plank behind the comparator to mark where we have to place the switch. Now we place back the block we broke earlier, place an item frame onto it and a sword into the item frame. If you did everything properly, it's supposed to work like this. To the other side we also place an item frame with a sword. To the middle we place an armor stand with armor. and the torch over. Inside this room we create an oak plank floor and an oak plank wall. To the right side of the room we create a dining area using dark oak wood stairs, fences, pressure plates, a painting and torches. Now to the other side of the room we place chests, carpets, torches and armor stands with armor. And as a final step, we place black carpet in front of the door. And now guys, we are ready with our brand new base with a secret room. Well guys that's all for now, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if yes please make sure to hit the like button, for any questions or ideas leave me a comment and if you wish more just subscribe up to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you guys for watching, have an awesome day, see you in the next video.